Welcome back everybody. Today we have a lot more names. Uh, we're going to be throwing in a lot of ages. So we're going from Adam to Noah today. Uh, but as you heard, we get to the story, or at least the introduction of Noah today. So these are some of my favorite uh, verses, chapters, stories in the Bible. And yes, I'm a little biased because it's my namesake. All right. <clears throat> this is the written account of Adam's family line. When God created mankind, he made them in the likeness of God. He created them male and female and blessed them. And he named them mankind when they were created. When Adam had lived 130 years, he had a son in his own likeness, in his own image, and he named him Seth. After Seth was born, Adam lived 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Adam lived a total of 930 years, and then he died. When Seth had lived 105 years, he became the father of Enosh. After he became the father of Enosh, Seth lived... 807 years and had other sons and daughters altogether seth lived a total of 912 years and then he died 930 for adam 912 for seth i mean can you imagine living that long that would be the same as if i were born okay so i was born in 1996 so i would live till 2908 if I were to live 912 years, maybe did that math incorrectly, but about then, like you would live almost to the year 3000. That's just crazy. Crazy to think about. <clears throat> okay. Uh, when Enosh had lived 90 years, he became the father of Kenan. After he became the father of Kenan, Enosh lived 815 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Enosh lived a total of 905 years and then he died. When Kenan had lived 70 years, he became the father of Mahalalel. After he became the father of Mahalalel, Kenan lived 840 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Kenan lived a total of 910 years, and then he died. When Mahalalel had lived 65 years, he became the father of Jared. See, why can't we just all name him Jared? You got me saying Mahalalel four times in three sentences. After he became the father of Jared, Mahalalel lived 830 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Mahalalel lived a total of 895 years, and then he died. When Jared had lived 162 years, he became the father of Enoch. After he became the father of Enoch, Jared lived 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Jared lived a total of 962 years, and then he died. Oldest person yet, but there is one older. When Enoch had lived 65 years, he became the father of Methuselah. After he became the father of Methuselah, Enoch walked faithfully with God 300 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Enoch lived a total of 365 years. Enoch walked faithfully with God, then he was no more because God took him away. God took him away. It doesn't mention that he died, it just said that God took him away because he walked faithfully with God. I like the name Enoch. All right, here we go. When Methuselah had lived 187 years, he became the father of Lamech. After he became the father of Lamech, Methuselah lived 782 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Methuselah lived a total of 969 years, and then he died. 969. He was almost 1,000 years old. And I remember this was a trivia question I actually got right when I was younger. I don't know if it was um, Sunday school or uh, a Bible trivia, but I, I remember I got the question right who was the oldest uh, person in the Bible and ever, and I remember Methuselah with 969 years. It's just easy. You flip the one six in the middle upside down, it's 999. I don't know. When Lamech had lived 100, 182 years, he had a son. He named him Noah and said, He will comfort us in the labor and painful toil of our hands caused by the ground the Lord has cursed. After Noah was born, Lamech lived 595 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Lamech lived a total of 777 years and then he died. After Noah was 500 years old, he became the father of Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So we get introduced to Noah's family, or at least his sons. And I believe a lot of people know the story of Noah. I like it. Um, I did see another um, really cool... I have it saved on my Instagram, where it actually goes over... Yep, there we go, that's saved. Not as tech-savvy as my fiancé with this one. So it's a real uh, little short video that actually goes over, based on the Bible, how long was between... Oh, where did it go? I was just looking at it last night. Come on, don't start freaking out on me. I 
Did I not save it? Oh, here we go. Okay. So from the time of Adam till Noah was 1,558 years. I believe that's what it's saying. Yes, from Adam to Noah, 1,558 years. And then, of course, it goes on after that to tell us like how old the earth is compared uh, to what the Bible says. But I just thought that was cool. From Adam to Noah, you have the first human in chapter, what was it, 3 for Adam and Eve. And then two chapters later... Oh, wait, even, even earlier, sorry. Chapter 2 was Adam and Eve. Three chapters later in chapter 5, it goes from Adam to Noah. In three chapters of the first book of the Bible, it goes over 1,500 years. Three chapters. And it doesn't give us any information, at least yet, about what happened in that time. It just goes from the, the lineage from Adam to Noah. You know, what did all these people do in these 300 years? What did the 300 years that Enoch walked faithfully with God, what did that look like? I'm very curious about that because he was taken away by God. He, he didn't die. You know, all of these years, 962 years for Jared, 969 for Methuselah. You have all of these years that people lived. What happened in those years? I'm, I would be very curious. Like when we get to heaven, I want to know, or I, w I would like to be shown what, what happened then. And everybody asked the question of like, when, you know, would you like to have dinner with a famous person who died or alive? Or if you could travel to any time period, what would it be? I don't know. I just wish that I could go back and see like what was happening in all these times that, you know, they don't mention in the Bible specifically. You have 15, over 1500 years to cover. And they, they go from chapter two to chapter five. I don't know. It's just something that's always been in my mind. But anyway, that's, that will be our question for today. And if it does talk about it later in their Bible, I am I am sorry, but I don't have the whole Bible memorized. Unfortunately, less than I should. And all of the years between Oops, one too many E's. Adam and because I'm curious. We'll get this back on the screen. Oh, it's a little too big. There we go. I'm curious. What are your thoughts? If you actually know and if you've read further ahead in the Bible, comment it down below. We'll get there eventually if it says it, but I, I am very curious about this one. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day, and we'll see you again tomorrow.